say everything is possible in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they must be right, because Avengers Endgame must not be an endgame at all. Since 2019, the speculations have started to spread around about the next possible Marvel Avengers movie. In the next couple of minutes, we will tell you everything we know so far about where the Avengers story will possibly go this time. Recap the 2019 Avengers movie was a real blast and, for a short time, became a blockbuster. It managed to surpass Infinity Wars in just 11 days and also broke many box office records. For example, the movie became the highest grossing film of all time from July 2019 until March 2021. It received many awards, including a nomination for Best Visual Effects at the 92nd Academy Awards. The total earnings of Avengers Endgame is estimated at over $2.8 billion, according to the box office. There are many other projects on which the studio is working at this moment, but rumors spread around the possibilities for another Avengers movie. Marvel fans are waiting for the premieres of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in May, Thor Love and Thunder in July, Black Panther Wakanda Forever in November, and the She-Hulk TV series. We are excited about each of these movies, but in this video, we will elaborate on the possibilities for another Avengers movie. There are many guessing about the title of the possible Avengers 5 movie. Many articles in the media are guessing that Thanos is the past, and the next movie will be focused on the supervillain from Loki, Kang the Conqueror. We can't be sure as there is nothing official from MCU by now but we are presuming that the next movie will be called Avengers Kang Wars. However, it sounds to you, it is not something that cannot be believed. The extremely powerful villain from Marvel Comics has already debuted in Loki's episode for all time, always, and he will also have his debut in the MCU film Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in 2023. He is a time traveler and an old enemy of the Avengers and Fantastic Four. His first appearance was back in 1964 in the Avengers comics. We know that he can be resistant to radiation. He has a genius level of intellect and highly advanced battle armor. If the rumors become true, then thank you, Loki, for bringing this guy on the screens. King is the perfect antagonist from which Marvel could benefit a lot in the future. He is known by many names in the comics. We remember him as Rama Tut, Immortus, and Iron Lad. In 2009, he was ranked as IGN's 65th greatest comic book villain of all time. He appeared in many Avengers animated series before, like the Avengers United They Stand, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and Avengers Assemble. There is a possibility that King will appear in other projects before Ant-Man and the Wasp film next year, where he will be the main antagonist. All of this information for now is laying on a speculation level, but as we said, anything is possible when it's up to MCU release date. Given Marvel's packed schedule, it is hard to say when the next Avengers movie could happen. The premiere of the Doctor Strange sequel on May 6 is followed by Thor Love and Thunder on July 8 and another premiere on November 11 when fans will revisit Wakanda and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. The schedule continues with some holiday specials and many projects in 2023. We are presuming that Avengers 5 King Wars could take place at the earliest, in 2024 or 2025. Marvel has already announced three premieres for 2023. They will start with the Marvels on February 17th, then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania on July 28th. So maybe more will be said about the new Avengers movie in the summer of 2023 when we will also have a clear image of how powerful Kang is. Cast It is almost sure about who will play the new supervillain character. There is no doubt that it will be Jonathan Majors. He is one of Marvel's latest discoveries, and he did a great job playing the powerful villain in Loki series. Now, about the Avengers team. Well, it is hard now, when the original team has been almost completely deconstructed. Black Widow and Iron Man are dead, and Captain America is an old man. We know that Thor has jetted off into space with the Guardians. We will see how the story will go in the upcoming Thor and Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and then we can tell more for them. If Brie Larson's Captain Marvel will take the lead in MCU, as it was suggested, then she's going to need a team to lead. If not the Avengers, then who? The speculations are saying that the new Avengers movie will also include Wolverine in the team, then Sam Wilson as Captain America, Shuri as the new Black Panther, 
Tatiana Maslany as She-Hulk, and Yelena Belova as the new Black Widow. The other characters we are surely going to see are Spider-Man, Valkyrie, War Machine, Winter Soldier, and Doctor Strange. Of course, there are always some other candidates who can come back or make their debut on the big screens. First look. After the Avengers Endgame movie, Marvel's boss Kevin Feige might have hinted that this will be the last Avengers movie. Marvel Studios and Marvel Cinematic Universe are now past their 10th anniversary, and with the release of the final Avengers movie, we finally completed a 22 movie Infinity Saga, Feige said. But many people who are somehow familiar with Marvel Studios are saying that Feige may by this means that the new Marvel movie will just not only happen during Phase 4. So this means that we have to wait for Marvel's Phase 5. There are rumors that the studio will first develop a movie based on new Avengers, Young Avengers, and the evil version of the team, Dark Avengers. Also, there was some information that Marvel is in the early stages of developing a movie about Midnight Suns, another group of superheroes from the comics. Plot Details the biggest but likely to happen rumor that's swirling around Avengers 5 is that Captain Marvel could end up being a bad guy. We can say that it is something possible, knowing that she's possessed by an evil entity, but she'll probably come back to normal at the end of the movie. Another plot detail is that the US government will send War Machine to kill Captain Marvel when she becomes evil. In this mission, he won't succeed eventually. But it could be interesting to see Don Cheadle facing off with Brie Larson. We don't know how Captain Marvel will join the bad side, which should be led by Kang the Conqueror. We know that Kang possesses a supernatural intelligence, so maybe somehow he will manage to turn things around and will cause discord in the Avengers team. Lately, we are hearing that Captain Marvel 2 movie will be the basis that Marvel will use to set up Avengers 5. If this is true, then the history will be repeated with Captain America Civil War, which was used to set up Avengers Infinity Wars. On the other hand, it will be hard to bring Captain Marvel to Avengers 5. Film critics who are familiar with the MCU are saying that Brie Larson has some demands. According to WGTC, she demanded to be paid the same amount as her male co-stars, including some bigger names such as Spider-Man. There are also some other possibilities about who will lead the new Avengers team. We don't know if it is true or not, but it is said that Tom Holland, Spider-Man, has started pushing for his character to become the new leader. For this purpose, he had a meeting with Marvel's head Kevin Feige, but apparently those negotiations didn't go as Holland imagined himself. Feige eventually said that they will consider some sort of co-lead down the road, but for now, Captain Marvel stays in the top position as Avengers leader. On a related note, what do you think of this movie franchise so far? Do you think that Avengers 5 King Wars is possible? What's your opinion about the cast crew? Who should play who? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.